The next step that you'll need to begin doing in, for your photo montage project is to get all of these images into your project file. <clears throat> so to do that, you're going to click the tab at the top of the first image you would like to merge into your photo montage project file. I'm going to use my TARDIS image. When you do that, you come over to your layers palette, click the layer options drop down menu in the top right corner, choose duplicate layer, um, change its name so you don't have to do that when you get back into your photo montage. So I'm going to call this one the TARDIS and I'm going to change the document to DDO photo montage and that's telling it where it's going to go. Once you've done that, click OK. Then you can actually close your TARDIS, in my case, um, your images tab, so you no longer need it. And now you'll see that my TARDIS is inside my photo montage project. Do that for all of your other pictures. So we're going to call this Giraffe 1, because I have two giraffe pictures. And it's going to go into the Deal Montage, Photo Montage, click OK, close your tab. Do it again for my next picture, which is my other giraffes. Duplicate layer, giraffe two. Change the document to your photo montage document. Click OK. Two more images. Duplicate layer. We're just going to call this FJ. Name it photo montage. Click OK. Close your tab. And finally, my cliff picture. Duplicate layer. Call this cliff, change the drop down to photo montage, and click OK, and then close that tab. Once you've done that, do a file save or a command S um, to save your project. If it hasn't already been saved yet, what it's going to do is ask you to save it as a Photoshop file. I'm going to put it in my digital imaging folder in my photo montage folder into demo materials. But for you, you're going to put it in whatever folder you created on your thumb drive for this project. So make sure you navigate to that place. You can find your thumb drive over here in the left hand column. Um, under devices, you'll see your thumb drive with your name. Now I have two drives plugged in, so that's why there's two there. Once you've done that, make sure the format is Photoshop and click save. When it says maximize compatibility, that's okay. Just click okay and you've been saved. From this point on, you can just command S as you work and you don't have to go through that process anymore. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next tutorial for cutting out our images.